Early in the game, you will need a lot of gold in order to purchase potions to complete the assignments. Well, there is a fast way to obtain over 10,000 gold early in the game. The only requirement is to complete a few main quests until you will unlock the mine quest called the Secrets of the Restricted Section. During this quest you will unlock a new spell called the Disillusionment that is required for this farming method. Once you have it, you will be able to use this spell in order to sneak in front of a chest that has an eye. Doing so will allow you to search this type of chest that contains 500 gold each. So, this video will cover 20 locations where you will be able to find these chests. For the first location, in Hogwarts, uh, focus on top of the astronomy wing. Here you have to use the fast travel that will teleport you at the transfiguration courtyard. Immediately after, turn around and use the door you will notice slightly to the left. Behind it you will find a staircase and at the end of it you have to turn to the right, then to the left. As a result, you will find the first chest uh, close to the corner. For the second chest, uh, focus the astronomy wing. Here you have to teleport toward the professor's fig classroom. From here, turn around and pass through the yellow door. At the end of this restroom, in front of the window, you will find the second chest. For the third, it's time to visit the bell tower wing. To be precise, you have to use the bell tower courtyard fast travel point. From here, you have to turn to the left and start using the staircase. Then follow the passage along the left wall. Doing so, you will reach a light where you have to turn to the right. Here, behind the corner, you will find the third chest. The force is still in the bell tower wing. But this time, you have to use the Hogwarts Nord exit fast travel point located along the right wall. From here you have to turn around and follow the passage going to the left. Immediately in front of you, you will notice a staircase that will allow you to get on top of the wall, where you have to turn to the left. At the end of the wall, you will notice a door and behind it you will find the chest in the right corner of this room. The fifth is also in the bell tower wing. This time though you have to use the west tower for travel point. From here going to the right, you have to use the double doors. Immediately after, you have to turn to the left and use the tiny passage between the walls. At the end of this passage, you will find the fifth chest. For the sixth, it's time to check the grand staircase. To be precise, use the code courtyard flu flame. Now turn around and use the staircase you will notice to the right. All the way at the end of this passage, in front of our window, you will find the sixth chest to loot. The seventh is still in the grand staircase area. This time, though, you have to start from the lower guard staircase fast travel point. Reach the dead end in front of you and then turn to the left. This will guide you toward a staircase that will end in front of a monument. To the left from it, uh, under the lantern, you will find the seventh chest. For the eighth, it's time to move to the library annex. Here you have to use the library full flame. From where then you have to turn around and get behind the bookshelves where you will notice a passage. At the end of it you have to go to the right in order to pass through the gate. Then a few steps after use the staircase going to the right. At the end of the staircase turn to the left and use the passage on the left side of the bookshelf. Reach the end of this passage then check the right corner where you will find another passage. Following this staircase, you will reach the lower level of the library, where you have to use the passage on the right. At the end of it, on the left, under the light, you will find the 8 chest loot. For the ninth, use the secret rooms icon you will notice above the castle. One of the full flames you will unlock through the mine questline is the mine chamber. Once there, turn around and use the staircase passage. At the end of this passage, you have to turn around again and you will notice the chest to loot along the wall. For the tense, you have to go back to the library annex, where this time you have to use the divination classroom of a travel point. Now you have to turn around and use the passage on the right side of the flu flame. A few steps after, you will notice a wooden passage to the left. Follow it till the end, where you will find the tense chest. 
For next turn, you have to visit the Hogsmeade map. Start from the West Hogsmeade Full Flame. From here, turn to the right and immediately after use the right staircase. At the end of it, turn again to the right and reach the Hog's Head Tavern. Use the passage between the buildings on the left from it, then get over the fence you will notice to the left. Immediately after, on the right from a cart, you will find the 11th chest. For the 12th, go back to the West Hogsmeade fast travel point. This time, though, go to the left and cross the bridge. Immediately after, use the left passage that will guide you behind the building, where you will find the 12th chest. For the 13th, you have to start again from the West Hogsmeade. For this one, also go to the left and cross the bridge, but this time, at the end of it, you have to turn to the right. Keep following the passage until the first street light, where you have to go to the left. Here you will find a small cemetery and you have to get behind the first tomb. This will allow you to find the 13th chest. For the 14th, go back to the West Hogsmeade Foo Flame. For this one, you have to start again going to the left, but before the bridge, you have to use the passage on the left. Once you reach the overhanging, look to the right and you will notice the next chest to loot under the bridge. For the 15th, it's time to visit the North Hogsmeade. From where, uh, turn to the left and reach the first building you will notice there. At this point, in front of it, you have to use the passage on the left going down. This will allow you to find the 15th chest behind some trees. For the 16th, from this location, turn around and go back to the previous building. Then proceed further till reaching the bridge. But instead of using it, you have to turn to the right and uh, along the building walls you will notice the 16th chest. For the 17th, turn around and uh, use the bridge. Immediately after, at the crossroad, you have to turn to the left. Then immediately after the street light, you have to go to the right using the staircase. At this point in front of you, you will notice a building you have to enter through the main door. Inside it, in the left corner, you will find the 17th chest. For the 18th, it's time to go back to the North Hogsmeade for travel point. From where, then use the short staircase to the left and then turn to the right. Follow the pathway toward the building, but before reaching it, uh, turn to the right and uh, you will notice another one. Behind this last one, you will find the 18th chest. For the 19th, it's time to use the last full flame called Salt Hogsmeade. Once there, turn around and use the passage between the buildings. Once in front of the stone fence, turn to the right. This will allow you to find the 19th chest behind the right uh, stone half wall. For the 20th and the last one, turn around and enter inside the fenced area to the left. A little bit further, you will find a leaf dragon and in front of it, you have to use a staircase. At the end of it, you have to turn to the right and in the fenced area, you will find the last chest to loot.